Okay, um, here we are, day after the election results. So we're, you know, I mean, we're California, we're pretty happy, but we'll let it go at that. Um, you were doing kind of the, uh, the 30 movement. So let's start with that. Okay, so movement number one, right hand, okay. And establishing the center, okay. And then movement number two, uh, I'm going rightward upward. And movement number three, leftward downward. And I had a uh, session with Nado Sensei, so we kind of were working that pattern. Establish the center. And that can be whatever you want, you know. But then you establish off of the center, up, let's call that fire, the down, let's call that water, okay? And then the third is kind of like, boom, establishing yourself, to some degree, there is the center, right? Then establishing yourself as a center within the center, okay? Okay, so Anthony uh, just came in, so we'll repeat it. We're going through the 30 movements. So, first movement, the center. Okay, now we're gonna establish, I'm going rightward, up. Leftward, down. Okay, movement number four. There was the center, we go up, down, boom. Now you are a center within the center, okay? Then movement number five, we get into the ready position, okay? Now careful right there, Steve, make sure that lower, both hands are from the top, okay? If you go this way, it's kind of like a rifle. This is, this is you're your, your holding a spear, okay? Okay, so movement number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up and down, eight, rethrust, nine, boom, ten, boom. Now here, Switching grips, thumbs face each other. 11, 12, thrust, boom. Strike, 15. Now, changing the grip, thumbs towards you. 14, 15, boom. Changing the grip again, thumbs face each other. 16, 17, Grip stays the same, but the feeling in the body. 17, change the grip. 18, 19. Now here we rotate the hips. Don't sweep it out. Bring it into your other hip. 20, 21. Now we change the grip again. Now we just go this way. This is part of it. This is Gokyo. Now, the second we grip it, we do the two-handed figure eight. That's 23, 24, step back. 25, thumb down from the top, step back. 26, turn. This is again, thumbs face away. 27, thumbs face away. Now you're gonna grab 28 is step, sweep, strike. 29, thumbs face each other, thumbs face away, thumbs face each other, 30, okay? So that is uh, the 30 movements, okay? Now, what I'd like to have you do right here is I'm just put David here and you lead, okay?
Okay, good. Now I'm going to have Steve come out. He leads. Okay, good. Anthony? Okay. So first thing, you know, you're, you're kind of learning the actual sequence. Okay. Um, let's just say a little bit about kind of like fine points. Okay. For example, it's a little different. In other words, what you really want so if I go this way, all the key gets locked up in my system. Now that makes your system heavier and so there's more impact, but you're also locked in. And here you're loose and it's like boom, and the key flows out, right? Boom. Okay, and, and here it's not so much the key comes back at you, but but there's out and back. Out and back and the out there's that little boom okay and that's that's like that that moment that the baseball hits out of how to always bat and boom and if he's like this he's gonna he's gonna hit a long high fly ball but if he's this way boom that ball just has a trajectory it's kind of like if you look at the election uh it was kind of maddening right in other words, you look at it, and there is Pennsylvania. And, you know, the, the joke was, it was, you know, I was talking to L, Chinese water torture, a drip at a time. <laughs> We're going, and how the president feels. Oh, <laughs> a drip at a time. So here we are going, oh my gosh, okay. So one of the things here, there's tension. Now there's also, there's a certain amount of tension in that, but it's like, boom. And there's that feeling of boom, that ball going over the fence. Or, you know, there's an area where, you know, in basketball, you release a ball and it bounces off the rim, it's called a brick. And this is like Curry's release, boom. Nothing but from 30 feet, game over. Okay, so there's that closure. Now, from here, boom. Let's just, just go here. Now, when you're cutting, the same thing, boom. There's that, right? Now, I'm not just, out, see, I can't get that here, but I also can't get that when I'm putting all my weight in my body, boom. So you have an easy sense of, but boom. At the very end of it, the energy, see that 
The energy doesn't go out unless you get the release right. Okay? Let's just say from here, uh, with your, uh, yeah, go here, okay? Now, here we go this way. Boom, this way, boom. You see, so when somebody takes your wrist, conversely, you know, he grabs here, I go this way, boom, boom, boom. Okay. So what you're working on, I mean, you have no partner, okay? You have no uke right now, but this is a little bit about, yeah. Now, one thing that uh, struck me was I was reading uh, an article that was written about uh, the warrior coach, Steve Kerr. And he said the thing that actually amazed him, that made him the happiest was not winning those games. He just said that he would watch Stephen Curry and later Kevin Durant, what they would do after practice. They would have their practices and their games, but he'd watch them after practice, the attention to detail, how much they were self-motivated. He was yelling at them to actually practice after practice. And I know that, you know, Thompson had a bad game once, Clay. What did he do? He stayed after the game and he practiced, okay? So what we're left with right now is what you, there's no, practice because there's no uke. So all we're doing is what's, what you would call after practice, okay? So these are things if you sort of get, in other words, you go back and somebody grabs your wrist and you haven't trained in a year, but boom, you come back with a new dimension to your Aikido, at least on the mat, okay? And the other thing, is that you know uh, certain actions have power and certain actions don't. And I'd like to think what happened to the majority of the country is they voted and their action had power. In a united sense, we came together and we voted for change. Whether you're a fan of what happened or not, you got change. Okay, and change is healthy. Other than that, you keep recycling the same stuff, which is good, then it turns stale, maybe bad. All right, and so oftentimes if it's not good, it gets recycled and it gets worse. <laughs> so what happened is by voting collectively, everybody's actions had power, which means change, okay? So for example, here, just within this, this motion, but you know, there's the energy, the key flows out, boom, okay? Which means you have a base. Loose, easy, not locked and heavy. You begin to have a core. See, we want to get our hips in the motion, but really what happens is the hips move because you have the balance of the base and boom, it explodes through your core. And then oh, I get all that and I'm sloppy filling out my valet and it gets thrown out. Converse, I have all this stuff and I drop my valet into uh some crazy place where it won't get mailed. Boom. Get your ground, get your base. There's a certain amount of core which means you, you, you have conviction. You have conviction. No conviction, no power. And then I get everything like that and all of a sudden I forget to vote. Now, boom. The vote counts. That's the feeling of that closing motion. So work on that just a little bit. I don't care how you voted. I figure most everybody here, if they did, 
probably voted a certain way. We all probably voted together, but it's not a political statement. Okay, so keep going. Yeah, that's better. Now move your balloon more flexible in the base. Now, boom, boom. Okay. Okay, now, conviction is just energy. In other words, you are somebody, you know, so you have a point of view. We care about the election. That's okay, I guess. But now, well, but I have some balance, I got some ground. Somebody can be a conservative and present themselves in a good way where you can say, you know, that that's, I see your point of view. I don't agree with it, but I see it. I respect it. I respect you. This conviction. Now, and I, you know, and I feel what that conviction is, is you're in your own key, right? So right about here and then boom, your actions have a, not, not forcing. Boom. Okay, now what I would add a little bit is the double spiral. See that double spiral? Double spiral. Yeah, see if you grab me. Okay, grab the end, all right. I'm hitting a wall. Okay, boom. Now, if you watch that, watch my hands. I'm hitting a wall. Now I've got my ground, I've got my, my core, my conviction and and that's the double spiral, whether you're cutting with or, or thrusting with a sphere. Okay, all right. I'm going to switch masks. <laughs> this one's just sort of. I'm getting my own hot air back. So. I'm going to be spider. <laughs> Yeah. So one of the things here, that closing motion is very important. Okay. Uh, once you grab the, oh, you can go that way, but go the other side. It's a little easier to see. Okay. All right. I did everything right. I've got my my ground, my base. I have conviction. But then when it, the, the situation comes up, I don't speak out. <laughs> All right, oh, boom, 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 boom. That's how important you can have that and that if you miss that, all right? This is a little bit like, oh, on a bad day where he takes strike three, you go, uh-oh, <laughs> right? Or since they told me to wait, but not for strike three. <laughs> you see what I mean? In other words, you know, I may, Strike out, but I'm not going to strike out looking. <laughs> okay, that's feeling a little bit right there. Boom. So that that vibration after a bit, you know what it is is uh, easy ground. Your energy starts to circulate here. That's conviction. I know Sensei talks about, you know, how your blood starts to boil. Okay, in other words, it's not just passive state. But what you're working for is you're working for peace. You're working for harmony. You're working for humanity. Okay. You're working for nature. Okay. So you're a warrior. I mean, I, I kind of 
you know, as much as I'm a Golden State Warrior fan, when I wear this stuff, I realize that this bridge, this golden bridge, is not just something, you know, north of San Francisco. It's the floating bridge of heaven. And, you know, warriors are a basketball team, but you are a warrior for peace. You're a warrior for human decency. So as much as it's, yes, it is a team, and yes, this is, this, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge, but it's also the floating bridge of heaven. And being a warrior for universal harmony. That's Aikido. Much you know, it's nice that uh, the basketball team, you know, also represents kind of in Bototama of their name, what Aikido is about. And I think of this as like, you know, all of a sudden from 30 feet, Stephen Curry pulls up, boom, that release, nothing but net, game over. And winning is not like, okay, we beat you. Winning is kind of like there's a beauty in that moment. And oftentimes, you know, when I, it's interesting. I went to Kauai in 2016 when I was over there. It was with Harry Sensei and a couple other people. You were there, right? 2016, David Sensei. And uh, the year before I'd gone just on my own and the Warriors, of the NBA, everybody's a Laker fan. Why, right, why? You go back later, they lose. It was not fun. But I'm wearing my warrior gear, kind of being depressed. And everybody kind of comes up and says how much they love the Warriors and how much they love Stephen Curry. So within 12 months, because, you know, I'm a Laker fan because I live in, all of a sudden the Warriors are getting interest. And all of a sudden, Curry is coming into the consciousness of it. Ah, Warriors won. But the second year, even though they lose, everybody's saying, you know, we really love the Warriors and we really love Stephen Curry, right? And, you know, there was something in the energy that spoke to people. So Aikido it's kind of supposed to be that way. Now, you know, I'm a warrior fan. I hope they come back this year and do great. But on the other hand, you know, you're a real warrior, not a basketball player, not a fan of a team. And, you know, what this bridge thing represents, of course, it represents the team image, right? And yeah, they're back in San Francisco. Okay, so, you know, but what it really represents, it represents the floating bridge of heaven. And that is, you know, uh, you know, where I, I mean, a lot of ways, you know, right here, there is the center. There is the universe. Now, when you go, now, Within that universe or that center, there's your center or your universe. And then, boom, placing yourself there with conviction. Like that can just be simply like, I'm going to vote. I'm not going to go out with weapons and disrupt and create social disharmony. I'm not going to listen to somebody and get more into hatred. All right, but there's a conviction. No conviction, no key. All right. And then from there, we go into this motion. Now you have your feet, nice, easy sense of ground, not a locked, you're not a statue here. All right, your core, that's where conviction no conviction, the energy gets very chaotic or it gets very linear and it can be very destructive. Okay, I get too fundamental when I go, Rrr. okay, you're flexible. A flexible conviction. Now, boom, now that now you act off of that. So your key flows out off of that conviction, off of that balance. Okay, and so just those first moves, uh, you know, with, with, you know, basically, you know, with, with, with certain guidance, you know, this is something that I came up with. 
I didn't come up with it by myself. I actually had some guidance in doing it. Okay, so, and I was uh, getting this guidance and it took about a year. And finally, forces the commie said, that's good. <laughs> okay, right? It's like, nah, 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 okay, come on, really? And so, you know, what it was, was, you know, you know, you, you have the, this is the first change, the hands, that's Ikkyo. This is Nikkyo. This is Sankyo. This is Yonkyo, hands, but boom, through the body. Yonkyo is root, boom, boom, which is in everything, but this is really highlighting it. And this is Gokyo, okay? So we have within that, there are other, well, since he did a lot of stuff and um, a lot of his, you know, his best students, they have their own version of what O-sensei did, you know, in, you know, there's the 30 mo 31 movement of Saito-sensei, okay? There's kind of what Hikizuchi-sensei used to call Ikkyo, and it was 35 movements, and then it turned into Masakatsu Agatsu Bojitsu or something. He kind of changed the name, he started charging certification so you could get rank for it, okay? All right, that's his business, okay? And then uh, Kato Sensei kind of had his own version. So, you know, you find, I'm sure there, Kurei Sensei had 21. Okay. They're all very similar. They reflect the development of the teacher. So they're all good. But what I tried to do a little bit, you know, uh, I had about 25 moves. And then I added one, two, three, four, boom. And then that, okay? And the reason I added that was because just, you know, the only person that actually did anything that, that resembled those sensei was Kato sensei. He had his own thing where he would kind of, I can't even remember it now, right? But, you know, he sort of, you know, with, with the double spiral. But what I tried to do a little bit right there. Okay, now we're saying right here. Well, you can, you can use other words. There's truth. And then within that truth, you know, we establish our own truth. Then we establish our own convictions and stand boom in that truth. And the training out there is to 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 be that truth in motion, which is subject to constant reevaluation and reintegration. Then it's not that's why I don't call it a kata. I, I refer to it more like a misogi. Okay, so you constantly, right? And that work is, you know, what I kind of understand is what Steve Kerr mentioned about Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant, all right? It's like, no, the most inspiring thing, but it's not all those wins and those championships is watching those two champions after practice. You see? So that, even though it's a sport, even though they're, they're making millions of dollars and everything like that, they didn't have to do that. They did it because they were champions, okay? And so um, we're using the term warrior. The, the, the only thing about warrior is about war. The war that we're fighting is for our own soul and spirit. If we don't get that right, we don't get anything out there right. And right now the country is fighting really for its soul. There's too much division, there's, you know. So hopefully today will be the start of a type of unification, which means I might be much more on the progressive side. You know, uh, the president elect is not my first choice. <laughs> But he might be the best choice for this situation because he represents more the balance or the center between this and that. We've been over here and in a crazy version of over here, okay? So what we're doing right now with that is we're, we're not just refining our movement. We're, 
we're working on, you know, I mean, this, this is crazy, but you know, you are a warrior. Golden State, you're not a basketball player. The bridge represents Osensei's floating bridge. And when we, so we're going over a little bit to 30 right now, okay? So uh, let's kind of repeat. Movement number one. This is the center or the universe or the truth, okay? Now, the second movement is an upward for me, rightward movement. It would be a counterclockwise movement. And then there is the leftward, downward, or clockwise down, okay? And that represents, there's the center, and there's my center. You see what I mean? And this is all just in the moment. Whatever I'm saying as I kind of grow and evolve, hopefully, is subject to change, okay? But the center is more eternal. Well, Sensei might call it the universe. He might call it the truth. He might call it the floating bridge of heaven. That's all Kototama when he spoke it. I'm, I'm not there yet, <laughs> okay, all right. Now, we, start, we go the up, which can be fire, and we go down, which can be water, but that establishes our center within the center, okay? And then, right from here, boom. That establishes core, when we have you know, establishing core, defining it, conviction okay i'm a part there's a universe yeah i got i'm a part of the universe okay yeah i breathe yes i have bodily functions okay but i have no conviction now your conviction is personal it's personal you don't have to agree and be happy about how the election turned out that's that's not important okay but conviction to represent we're all on a journey to where we started it out. Whether you call it the universe or the center or the truth, we are on our journey there. We might have very differing viewpoints, but, all right? So we go over that again. This represents, you know, it can be many things. It represents the center, best I can do it. And I can think about it, but I'm going to go establish my center, the fire aspect of it, the water aspect of it. And then for whatever it is, there's conviction, boom. And if only, if your only conviction is to have conviction, it qualifies. You may not know what your conviction is about, but boom, conviction, that's core. Then we establish that motion. Okay, now here, make sure the base is there, but it's flexible, okay? If, if I were the president-elect, it's a very divided nation and certain aspects of it are very acrimonious. And there is pandemic and economic chaos and boom, okay. So my conviction has to be to let things come together or heal. I know I would have, I prefer to do that, 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 but there's a hole here that's divided. We got to come together. That's I, I key. Okay, now this motion, boom, you've got your base, you've got your conviction core, and then boom, boom, you take action. The key goes out. Say, right here, I got this, I got this, but I don't do anything. Or conversely, I'm just too locked into my viewpoint to be adaptable, okay? So there's that area where you're here, that's the double spiral. That's the double spiral. I know if it's gonna work, well, we're just, changing here this cutting motion also boom has that 
conviction doubles. See, that conviction doesn't do anything unless I, you know, for example, I may have all this stuff, I'm a sloppy and I don't vote. Boom. And then if you have conviction, you vote to vote. You don't vote to be on the winning side, okay? Now we're gonna change the other side. Right there, boom, there's that conviction that's expressed. You're taking action. The key flows out, okay? And if we go over in the, in the sequence, we go, boom. Now here, we're going up, down, okay? Now that itself, you have your ground, you have your core. Now, what I'm about to say is everything, the hips turn and everything, but everything comes through your core. Like there's a great wave that builds and crashes right there, boom. If you get that right, the body change, everything, boom. Boom, 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 okay? And then we rethrust, boom. Now here, we're changing sides and techniques, boom. Okay, boom, okay? You got your ground. You've got your core conviction. And the best conviction to have is conviction to have conviction. Best purpose they have is to have purpose. You want to be very flexible. All right. Ooh. Now we're going to change size and boom. Okay. Now this is tricky because what we're doing, we're changing grips. We're coming up. Boom. This way. Now I'm going to step forward and with this different grip, boom. Okay. Okay, now, the first change is Ikkyo. Most people, let's say somebody is coming with a striking motion. I go in, and I do ikkyo, okay? But you go that way. If you just twist the elbow, see right here, you go this way to where it's a thrusting motion, not a twisting motion, okay? So that is ikkyo. Okay, now from here, boom. This is now knee, boom. Not vibration, boom. And if you get out here, For ground, placement, but now this is the thing. Okay, I used to class. I used to go to say because I really like to please the time and on guy Shimas. And it's all stupid because it was intense, but his knee was very intense. But based on pain, you see what I mean? Force, and you know, he had a sense of humor. He used to play flamenco guitar, so everybody watches says, You know, Jack, he had you tapping flamenco rhythms. Okay, so you know, it was, it was, you know, and I felt stupid, but I wanted to feel what was there, and so you know, the 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 actual sense of it. You're here. Now you're stepping in, boom. There's that same boom, which is the same as boom, okay? So that was, you know, when, when I was getting this guidance to do this crazy form, 
Okay. Uh, one thing I did, and I tried to put it in hand changes, Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, Yonkyo, Gokyo. I learned Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, mainly from Hikizuchi Sensei. And then when Kato Sensei came in, he taught a version of, of, of Yonkyo. I thought, yeah, that's good. And he taught Gokyo. I went, yeah, Hikizuchi Sensei didn't teach, you know, the, 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 the Yonkyo and the Gokyo. Now, you know, there's other things like, you know, if I was going to add, I might add Rokyo. <laughs> right? Rear thrust. Okay. And so, you know, there, there's an area where uh, a lot of times, you know, I, I was mentioning that, that again, Steve Kerr said what he really, what really amazed him was not again winning championships and winning games. It was literally watching Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry after practice, how meticulous they were, how much they were constantly working on their craft. So that's what really amazed me, okay? And so part of this is a, a little bit, you know, the other thing about Durant is his, AAU coach, he's young. And his AAU coach says, look, don't let people make you into a center because you're tall, they're gonna try. You are not a center. You are a younger, more athletic Larry Bird. That's who you are. And so what would happen is the AAU coach would take him privately into film sessions where they watched Bird and studied Bird's movement. This was at a very young age, right? And let's make sure we are somewhat, we're still within range, okay? And so somebody asked the AAU coach, why'd you give them all that attention? That weren't the other kids jealous? He said, no, I gave him that attention because he wanted it, he earned it. The other kids just wanted to play and have fun. <laughs> And so, you know, that whole thing of after practice, you have an after practice study and you have an after practice training and everything with the coronavirus and the, the current situation is after practice. All of this is after practice. So I hope I have three Kevin Durants or four Kevin Durants here. <laughs> You see what I mean? Or four Stephen Curry's, because that's what they do. That's what champions do. They're not playing for a basketball team. What's the real meaning of this stuff? Okay. Well, it's so sensei's message. You are a champion who stands on that little bridge. You are a champion for equality, for justice. You see what I mean? Because you have conviction, you have ground. And you have the ability to boom, take action. So your key flows out. And you see a lot of people that have a lot of energy, but they're too diffuse. You see a lot of other people that they have a lot of energy in. And so for your key to move, boom. Yes. So these movements, uh, this is all done after practice. Now our practice now is after practice. So when all of this somehow changes and we got a dojo and we got a training situation and people can get together and, and, and train together, that you'll be at a different level. You will have a position of leadership. There are a lot of people that understand them. They just don't, resonate with what goes on in these virtual classes. I don't blame them, okay? I just don't blame them, right? I mean, if I'm an NBA fan, you know, I wake up every day and I read articles about what the Warriors are gonna do. And most of them I skim, I don't read any of them. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, there's no substitute for the actual thing happening, right? Whether it's good or bad. If you're a fan, you're not indifferent, okay? Win, lose, whatever. But there's a certain indifference 
to just sort of getting a lot of ideas about what you're supposed to do. Okay? So what we're doing is kind of going through the 30 movement. And again, I call it a misogi, not a kata. Okay? In fact, if you're a basketball player and you're a champion, which you do after practice, um, occasionally, what would happen in Shingu? Ano Sensei and Tojima Sensei, after the class, would start training. And that was really interesting to watch. They would just train with each other, and you could see what Ano Sensei was working on and what you're not, and, and um, Yanasa Sensei was not into that. You could go up to him and you throw you around and stuff. But occasionally, maybe, maybe a total of two or three times, you, you know, I got a chance to watch Ano and Tojima Sensei's train together. And they're very different, but they were good friends and they were very respectful, okay? Tojima Sensei was a lot about ground, base, explosion, power. And Ano Sensei was very much about nature and flow and heart opening. And, and to see two very vastly different people train, and how they were, even though very different, they were very respectful of each other. And how you could see what Tojima Sensei was picking up from Ano Sensei. And conversely, you could see what Ano Sensei was picking up from Tojima Sensei. They were just going around there for exercise. It was a training situation. But what was that? That was after practice. It was after practice. And so the virtual classes are basically all after practice classes. And how do you have a after practice class? Well, we're trying. But things that we can begin to work on, you know, like the 30 movements, so that when we do have dojo that we can train in, we can all come together and everybody hopefully is, is really primed for leadership because that's what the world needs right now. So we're kind of working a little bit ground, easy, but ground. Core, core is conviction. No conviction, no key. Okay, and then whatever the movement is, whether it's boom, that motion or that motion or, th see, this isn't like do that. This is kind of like boom, it flows out. Okay? Or conversely, boom, boom. Not, but boom, boom, right? So that's all after practice. So that, you know, when we do get back into being able to train with one another, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're not going to go Ikkyo this way. You're going to go Ikkyo this way. Boom. Or you're not going to go Nikkyo this way. You're going to go, you're going to go Nikkyo this way. See what I mean? Okay. Yeah. It's it's tricky because you know uh, I know one one thing that happened is uh, when when the uh, pandemic hit you know everything in NVA was was totally stopped and so uh, Curry didn't have anything so he had to order an outdoor basketball hoop and his wife said he wasn't good at it so he had to really work to put the hoop up you see what I mean. He didn't, you know, I mean, whatever. But he was still working on his craft, wasn't he? Okay. And the other thing that I read, which I like, is that, you know, like what happened or not, that's up to you with the election. But the NBA provided places for voting. They encouraged people to vote. 
LeBron James, who's, you know, I mean, you know, he's a great player, actually. You know, he, he was sort of an adversary for about four years, if you're a Warrior fan. He did a lot to actually get people registered to vote, especially people who had been in prison, people who were not registered. Now, how they voted, if you don't like it, that's up to you. Not, you know, I'm semi-political, but I thought what was good is that, now they were probably, arranging all that so the election would go a certain direction, which you may or may not agree with. But one thing they were doing is, is, is actually providing a space leadership direction, okay? See, because what's, what's tricky is, you know, I live in America, but I have no conviction. Now, if you like what's going on, fine. If you don't like what's going on, fine. But that's conviction. All right. There's always two forces. I like certain things. I don't like certain things. I agree with certain things. I disagree with certain things. But one thing we're doing here is, again, there's the center. Now, this is an upward rightward spiral, which is counterclockwise. I call that fire. You can call it heaven if you like, or mind. Now there's a leftward downward spiral. You can call that body, you can call it water, whatever it is. Boom. So within the center, you are establishing yourself as a center. It doesn't mean that you have to agree with fire, or water. Okay, you may, all right. Now the next part, that's conviction, that's core. But over a period of time, that's what I'm saying, it's a misogi. You know, you might, you might be a fire person and think water's totally screwed. Or you might be a water person and think fire is, is, is destructive. Okay, but fire and water, you can call one progressive, the other conservative, whatever you want to call it. But what's important is the I key, right? So you can call this the universe. Within that universe, boom, there is my universe, boom. And then there's the boom, conviction to stand in my universe, which ideally is flexible. The major conviction is to have conviction. If you don't have conviction, your key doesn't move. <laughs> okay? One thing I will say for, for our current president, he had a lot of conviction, <laughs> which you know you may agree with or may not. But therefore, he had a lot of energy. Okay? All right. So, A center, bigger, larger, A universe, A truth, the truth, whatever it is. And then we're establishing within that our truth and now boom, the conviction to follow that whatever to the best you have in the moment. Okay, now when you step out, you have ground. You have a base. You're not here or you're not here. You have ground. You also have conviction. The best conviction to have is the conviction to have conviction. Stand for something. I'm just with everything. Or conversely, I hate everything. So I've been different. The best conviction is to have conviction. But that conviction is very personal. Or the best purpose to have is to have purpose. Choose to have purpose. You may not know what that purpose is right now, but you're choosing purpose. It's psyche. Because you may have to go fire, you may have to go water. But there is the original center and your movement, fire to water, water to fire, 
creates your center within that larger center, okay? And then all of that, boom, there's action. Okay, and that motion, that double spiral. Here, I got all of that, but I never do anything. And then when I have to act, freeze up. <laughs> Boom. So you have your ground, you have your conviction, and you have your action. Boom. And we'll all mess up and do the wrong thing, but we go back to the center, reprocess, polish what our conviction is, so our actions start to be true. Our actions have key. Okay. So if we kind of go through. We're going to go through the whole 30. That's why I call this a misogi, not a kata. And a couple, of, it came in late. The, the major thing is, well, you know, Steve, you know, Steve Kerr talked about what he really was amazed about, not winning championships, not winning games. He said what really astounded him and really was very positive in his heart was watching Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant when he played for us after practice. And when you have two of those people doing that, the whole team gets involved. Yes, we're gonna practice as a team. Now, within that team, I have a certain sort of position or responsibility, and I have the conviction to hone myself it's a part of that team unity. And in Aikido, the team we belong to is humanity, okay? And the team we want to get traded to, once we've done a good job, is Kami. We want to stand where Osensei stood. And to stand on that floating bridge, which is the place of Kami, we're moving, our conviction is to move positively from standing as member of humanity, which is a very good team, to that rarefied dimension of standing there must stand both. Your humanity must lead you to Kami or spirit. And then what happens is, you know, these movements are misogi. You see what I mean? They're not just something you do just to kind of go, okay, I, I've done my uh, set for the day, you know. Okay, so let's go through. Okay, so we go move at number one, two, three, four, five, six, boom, seven, boom, both up and down, eight, boom, nine, boom, 10, boom. Now, 11, I'll move over here. Now, right here, this does change somewhat, but here I'm gonna step forward, 12, boom. Now, 13 is easy to forget. It throws them, you know, but even here, 13 is not just that way. 13 is also boom, boom. 14, boom. 15, boom. 16, turn. Now, 16, boom. Now, 17, boom. It's not putting your weight out there, is it? You've got the base, you've got your conviction, you've got some depth of root. 18, boom. 19, boom. 20, boom. 21, boom. 22, 23, boom. 24, boom. 25, 26, boom. I'll move over here. Now 27 is just the spinning motion, thumbs away. Now, when I grab it, it starts 28. Sweep, strike, turn. Nine. Oh. 30, okay? So each of those 
is all those. Now, Tojima Sensei, one time when he was in the States, when you watch Tojima Sensei do everything, he had boom, he had that conviction, boom, key attention through everything. Okay. But we also said, he also said practice this way. Okay, now when you watched Ano Sensei, Tojima Sensei work together, this was after class. There was Tojima Sensei, there was Ano Sensei, and what you saw, we saw Tojima Sensei getting a little bit more, and you saw Ano Sensei getting a little bit more, boom. Why train with somebody else unless you pick up their good stuff? Why hold on to your good stuff and say, you're screwed, you're wrong, I'm right, right? So that, that was an education. Hikizuchi Sensei never did that, so he's always right. <laughs> Yanasa Sensei, you know, just more by himself. So you work with him, you realize, okay, I'm going, this is going to be, I got to really be present. I can't do this lightly as an idea. But when you work with Tojima Sensei, you kind of got that relaxed explosion in the ground. If you work with Ano Sensei, you got that opening heart feeling. They were, they were really both, every one of them was really good. Hikizuchi Sensei did his best to kind of teach the you know, that, that, that floating bridge place. All right, so they each, they each had a, a really good thing to offer. And they were all different. Okay? So uh, what I want you to do Go through the 30 movement Nisogi. Do it from a variety of different levels. Work each movement, Tojima Sensei would, that focus, that conviction. And then do a couple where if you can do it like Ano Sensei would do it, which is, it never stops. It's, it's, it's continuous flow. You know, there are many dimensions to it. But that's all, this is all, guess what? It's all after practice, practice. Okay, so uh, research. I'm just gonna check the time here. <laughs> Let's see. Huh. We are, wow, I'm gonna say we're almost done. It's been good, though, that we could go over the 30 and, you know, just sort of like attention to detail, right? But I like what, the, you know, the thing that that, that uh, Steve Kerr said, you know, what, you know, and really what it is, is if you really want to be a, a warrior of the golden state, stand on the floating bridge of heaven, a lot, the misogi is the after practice practice. I think that that's important. It doesn't matter what your viewpoint is because you're going both fire and water, right? You may be outwardly fire for a while, but you're acknowledging water. And you have to establish some level of that balance in your own personal center. So that part of it is, uh, is hard. You know, it's been a miserable four years for me. So I'm obviously pretty happy today, but there's a lot of work to be done. Okay.
Okay. So, anyway, you know, hopefully, you know, what, what I guess we're trying to say is there's a lot you can work on because everything right now is after practice. There's no dojo practice. So, everybody here had their last group class of the dojo at some point. So, everything we're doing right now is after practice. Okay. And that puts it in perspective. When Osensei was uh, in World War II farming, he had a couple of classes. They were basically kids, you know, sleepy kids. He turned into Aikido, major Aikido teachers, but, you know, his, his practice was all after practice. <laughs> in fact, you could really say that even though Osensei taught a lot of um, classes, was he in that class, you know, training? No, well, occasionally, he, you know, he would uke. Uh, Isoyama Sensei, who uh, uh, was he took over the Aiki Shrine in the Iwamojo was a teenager, and he said, you know, Sensei would in class, you know, he'd be teaching Nikkyo, right? And he said, you know, you know Sensei would would be okay. And he said, you you felt kind of stupid because you know, Sensei would put his wrist out, and it was like a tree trunk. But he wasn't going, ha ha, I'm there. You know, he would receive the motion because he wanted people to understand, okay, there's a positive, but there's also a receptive. There's fire, but there's also water, right? And the those sensei said something interesting. He says, you know, all of us, you know, we looked at those sensei and we said, boy, he has a lot of power. He's really strong. But he says, you know, we didn't appreciate the beauty of what he did the intelligence behind it, or possibly even fully the loving spirit he was trying to put out. All, because main, mainly they were all men, right? So what they saw was the power, <laughs> okay? So, you know, I thought that was kind of interesting because, you know, this, there's a tendency to, to kind of go through all that stuff. I remember reading uh, Mr. O's autobiography and, you know, one thing that really started to bug him was that everybody started to see him as some sort of a saint. Oh, son. Right. Is the, oh, and, you know, he's, he's Chinese, but the character for Oh is king. And it's interesting that if he were an Aikido teacher, it wouldn't be the same character. He'd be Oh, sensei. You see what I mean? There's kind of a kototama. You could argue he was probably, he could have been one of his best students, just played baseball. And that, that it really bugged him, you know, that, that all of a sudden, you know, he would, you know, um, take a picture with a little kid and all of a sudden that would be, you know, front page. <laughs> and that he couldn't, you know, just offer human things to people without it getting blown out of proportion, right? And there was a, a thing where there was a, a young boy, you know, who was terminal, had some sort of terminal cancer. And uh, his, his thing was he wanted to meet Stephen Curry. So, you know, this was arranged in private where Curry met him. And, you know, he was, you know, I mean, it was, it was I don't know if the boy died or anything, but it was terminal. And, you know, there, and so, you know, it was really done this is just personal, right? And then somebody was there with a camera and it's all over Twitter. And Curry was going, oh my God, right? But you know, what's funny a lot of times is that we don't realize, I mean, you know, you, if, if you're into spiritual, where God is a, a really big term, but what if God, or we would say these days, what if God is? <laughs> you see what I mean? That's, you know, was your camera person that you're always on camera? But you're the one that's writing the script. And we tend to think, you know, God is not going to give me this. It's like, no, you're always on camera. So, in some sense, I mean, we are writing the script. And in a lot of ways, you know, the, the point is sometimes it's like, Boy, I wish I had that. But the question is, is there the worthiness of it here? To have that. You see what I mean? 
And so, you know, a lot of what those sensei talked about was kaidi miru, is that it's, you know, and Mary Honey sensei likes this constant self reflection, you know? You know? Yeah, so, you know, that, that area, in fact, it was kaidi miru, hajiru, kuiru, osoru, satoru, which is the five steps to enlightenment. And it begins with reflection. You can't, you know, in other words, you have to have conviction. But if you don't reflect, your conviction just, I mean, if you're a battering ram and you're always a battering ram, uh, you might be a good battering ram, but you're going to destroy a lot of stuff that you may need. Okay. Kairi miru, to reflect. Hajiru, uh, to feel shame. Kuiru, <laughs> to repent. Osoru, to feel fear. <laughs> and it's not so much, you know, it's like, you know, I can't believe I did that. All right. And then there's Satoru, which is enlightened, enlightenment, the light. Okay, which you find in here. And it's kind of interesting that the last before enlightenment is, is Osoru, but it's not that you're afraid of something in a small way. You, you, you know, almost there's a huge storm. Okay, that's Osoroshi. I mean, in some sense, you know, the whole pandemic is Osoroshi. It's, you know, it's massive. If you ignore that, you're in denial about something, something you can't deny. Okay, so the last step before Satoru, which is, of course, the fancy word, Satori, enlightenment, is Osoru. And so Sensei meant, you know, that there's a you know, and one time I, I asked Hikizuchi Sensei, well, should I do that before I go to bed? He got really mad. He said, that's every moment. Everything you do is what he called Shinken. It's life and death with a live blade. It means you, you face a storage woman, that can, storage woman that can cut you down. It's just that, you know, you walk that, that path. That's also, to some degree, what it means to be a warrior of the golden state. He or she who stands on the floating bridge. I mean, you know, I had this discussion with him, no sense. He says a lot of times he asks himself, what's my job? And then what's my real job? Okay. And what what am I? I'm many things, but I'm a fan of the Golden State Warriors. Now, what am I really a fan of is the warriorship that allows us all to stand on the floating bridge of heaven. And we're all gonna bring different viewpoints. You may like the election, you may despise the election, doesn't matter. We're starting to work towards, you know, that, that integrity, that conviction in our own system so that we can bring, and part of the work, in a sensei's terms, is to, to, to recreate because we all are one anyway, but we have the illusion of separation. In fact, it's good. I've heard people say, oh my, we should have taken the Senate over. You're progressive. It might work better because you know what happens, you you, you do get the, <laughs> you know, the, the shift in the, 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 the executive. Now everybody's got to start to work together. And if it was too one-sided, then all of a sudden, you know, uh, you, you have a, a progressive version of what we've had for the last four years, you know, which some people would like, you know, maybe me, you know, I have to think about it a little bit more. But one thing about the election is that it really hopefully is about healing. In other words, you might not totally get behind what's going on, but we, together around what's going on. And that I think is Osensei's I key. Right. So anyway, uh, let's uh
Okay, thank you very much. And uh, if you've been like me and you're on edge and you haven't slept for four days, <laughs> take a deep breath, just relax. And if you don't like what went on, you know, I didn't like what went on four years ago. It goes back and forth. I remember again, Kauai in 15, I go there and the Warriors are world champions and nobody cares. And I go back the next year and they lose and everybody comes up and says, oh, we love the Warriors. We love Stephen Curry. So it's really a funny world. And sometimes we're gonna come up on top and sometimes we're not. But it's really important we start to support one another up or down, down or up, win or lose, lose or win. Then we all win. That's what Sen says, Masaka, Agatsu. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir.